Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I will show you how you can do the quarter to date calculation within Power BI. So before I show you the exact calculation I'll show you one I'll just tell you one quick information uh, that in description you will find three link. The first link is, the, is for the spreadsheet that has only the Power BI video along with their YouTube link so that you can easily search. Uh, and instead of searching across my channel, you can quickly search there and jump on to any or any video where you have the interest. Uh, second link is for the Google Data Studio report where I have posted, which, which basically contains all of my channel video. Uh, that means all the video of Python, ClickView, ClickSense, Tableau, Power BI, everything is there. And the third link is where I keep all the data sets. So if you want to use any of the data set, feel free to join that and you can you can get this these data sets. All right. So coming back to the topic quarter to date calculation. So what I created earlier in the video, uh, in one of the videos previously, if you have seen that we have created one calendar table based on the order start date and order end date. Sorry order minimum date and order maximum date. So it's a dynamic table. Whenever a new, new order will be coming with a new maximum date, it will be extended as it is. So using the calendar function, we are just specifying minimum order date and maximum order date to create this calendar of table. Now what we want to do is based on the dates that has been created, we want to do the quarter to date expression or the quarter to date calculation. All right, so for this, I will first create one table, add the date. So these are the dates that has been created by the calendar function. And now what I'll do is I will add the sales because in the back end, both these tables are joined. So if I show you there, I showed you, I just drag this on the order date and these two tables are joined. That's what I showed in the previous video. Um, now what we want is quarter to date. So we clearly the quarter one is coming. So we want to see the cumulative of for each day and at the end of the quarter, it should show its value. And then from the next quarter, the new iteration should start. All right. So for that, what I will do is I will right click, click on the new measure. All right. So here QTD underscore sales. And we will say total QTD. What is the expression? Very simple. This is sum of sales. So this is this. And then the date. Date is nothing but your calendar date. Right. And close this. Once you do that, you will have the QTD sales over here. This table is already selected. So once we add this, you will find the quarter to date sales are here. And as you can see, these are cumulative. So 11101 plus 1052 will give you 12154. So on and so forth for rest of the dates up until the end of quarter one. So you can see that dates clearly on the 17th Feb, you can say, okay, we have done $740,000 of sales, right? So going all the way till the uh, here uh, end of the March, which is the end of the Q1, it's basically 1.2 mil or 1.2 million is something what you have sold. And as you can see, right from the April 1, the counter starts. So 6188, 24578, because this plus this will give you 24578. So that way you will going to get your quarter to date calculation for all the quarters in your uh, in your table and that way you can show it to your user and allow them to to basically see how the calculation or how the uh, how the you know quarter to date sales are going on so that's about it and now i'll meet you in the next topic